This is a video about cracking up in buildings. More specifically, cracking with air creep blocks because you see this all over the place. Now these are a very popular building material because as the name suggests they're full of air which makes them a great insulator. You get an incredible thermal resistance but they're not that strong. You can actually break one of these quite easily, snap it in half. Having said that they will take a crush load, they will take a point load if you like, equivalent to about the weight of a JCB. Provided they've got a concrete pad stone on top you can put steel beams on top of them you can load them but as the building starts to move as it dries out and the blocks shrink or the building warms up and it's moving in and out as all buildings do you do find that these blocks start to crack now I'm going to tell you why that is and how you can avoid it. So if we look over here, you've got what we call a movement joint. And these are put in on any wall that's six meters or over. It's not actually put in the middle of the wall. Yet for some strange reason that I don't understand, they're usually put closer to the corner than they are the middle. But in this room, which is 10 meters long, we've got two movement joints. This is a resilient foam. This allows the wall to move in and out. But the bit you can't see in these mortar courses, there is what we call a slip tie, which is a stainless steel tie, a bit of steel plate that goes between there and there. And in one side, it's bedded into the mortar bed. And on the other side, it's into a plastic sleeve. So that plastic sleeve allows that other half of the tie, if you like, to move in and out slightly. And thereby, when the wall wants to move, that will allow it to do so but at the same time tying the wall together, which is very important. So that's a great thing. Obviously, if you're plastering the wall, you need that movement joint to show through, which customers are not thrilled about. So we get around that by using what we call dot and dab, plasterboard, which is put over the top. So that movement is taking place underneath the plasterboard, unseen. But there's another reason why air creep blocks crack up, and this is more common, and it's because they use too strong a mortar when they build. Now, I was a bricklayer's laborer, and I know all too well that nobody wants to mix up two strengths of mortar. If you're doing brickwork outside and you're doing block work inside, you should, in theory, have two different strengths of mortar because the blocks can go for something like six to one, which is six parts of sand to one part of cement, whereas the bricks might need a four to one or something like that. People don't do that. They just basically use the same mix. So what we end up with is too strong a mix on the internal skin. Now, it's a golden rule that the mortar should never be stronger than the material you're building with. So we've already said these are fairly weak and therefore we need a weak mortar. All we need that to do is to hold those blocks together, have a bit of crush resistance up to 3.5 newton meters, which will be the same as the block, but we don't want it to be so strong that it stays rigid and the blocks end up cracking. So we can tell this just straight away. If we scratch this mortar, you'll see that these guys have been very diligent and they haven't used anything that's too strong. You can scratch it out and if you look at it, it's actually very slightly weaker than the blocks, which is a totally good thing. So the other way that you can avoid blocks cracking is you can use bed joint reinforcement, which is basically like a little train track of stainless steel that is laid in the beds, usually under windows and places like that where you get cracking. And that reinforces the bed joint and stops that bit of movement. But it's not a very popular thing to do and uh, brickies hate it because it kind of gets in the way of their laying the bricks. So a lot of the time I've seen them just chuck it out basically. So all well and good. If we can overcome those problems with the cracking, then that's fine. But these blocks are not only used on internal skins. They are also used sometimes on external skins. You see extensions being built of two skins of air creep blocks, but you also see them using solid blocks to build extensions and rendering over them. Now that causes another problem because of course we still need that movement joint and we need that movement joint to go all the way through the wall and appear on the outside but we also need to have a render that is not so strong 
that it holds those blocks rigid and that causes cracking. And I've seen this time and time again. So what can we do about that? Well, one thing we can use a render which has got some lime in it. So we might go for six parts of sand, one part of lime and one part of cement. And that will allow the render to move a little bit, to be a bit more forgiving and to allow some movement in the block. But the other thing you do when you render blocks is you do a kind of scud coat on first of all, which is something like an SBR and a cement slurry. And you paint that onto the blocks and prick it up so it forms a key onto the blocks and then you render on top of that. But another really great thing to do is fiberglass reinforcing mesh. Now fiberglass reinforcing mesh is laid in the first scratch coat of mortar. You press it in there and then when you put the finish coat on top you don't see the mesh at all but it's in there holding that render and stopping that cracking. So if you do those very simple things, first of all the movement joint, then the weaker mortar mix, then if you're rendering make sure the render has lime in it and that it's got some give in it and if you do that maybe put some reinforcing mesh in it as well, you will avoid an awful lot of the problems that we see with air creep blocks cracking up and if you don't do those things prepare to see those cracks. I'm Roger Bisbee, I hope you found that useful. Come back and see us soon on Skill Builder. We've got lots more coming up.